today on Running to Him. Believers can only see God's power when they have faith to act. If you're joining us in going through the Pauline letters, today's reading is Ephesians chapter 3, and we will concentrate on verses 20 and 21. Ephesians 3, 20 and 21 says this, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Well, verses 20 and 21 are known as a doxology. Now, the word doxology means an expression of glory or praise. And Paul is completing the Ephesians section, which lays out the theological mystery of the salvation and therefore ends it with a word of praise to God. Verses 16 through 19 discuss Paul's prayer for the church at Ephesus, and he asks that they might be strengthened in Christ through the indwelling spirit. He asks that Christ may dwell in them, being rooted and grounded in love. And finally, he asks that they may comprehend and know the love of Christ so that they might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now, the doxology tells us that we do far more than we ask or think. And let's dwell on that for a moment. We are finite creatures. We are frail and failures in our walk with Christ. We can barely see to the end of our noses, much less the glory which God desires us to know and to work. We are babies when it comes to our understanding of God's power. Now, there once was a monk by the name of Piasos who lived on Mount Athos in Greece, and many would come to him for advice and prayer. Now, to get to Mount Athos, you must travel by boat, and the process to obtain a visa and travel normally takes about three days. You have to be genuinely dedicated to travel there. Well, one such man had a daughter who was sick and dying, and he spoke with his wife, and they agreed he would go and ask Piasos to pray for her. After an arduous journey and waiting all day in line, Piasos refused to see him. He simply told him to go home. The man objected, but it was to no avail. And when he reached the mainland, he called his wife to tell her the news. Instead, he was greeted by an excited voice telling him that their daughter was healed and walking around. He asked what time that had happened, and she told him. That time was the exact time Piasos had told him to go home. God had already heard his prayer. God answered in a greater way than the man had asked. He failed to realize he and his wife's own faith. Was he wrong in seeking out Piasos? No. It was through that step that his faith grew in God. Believers can only see God's power when they act in faith. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. If you listen to us on Facebook or YouTube, please like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. You can always email us at phineasjacobus at runningtohim.net.